Hey everybody, today's May 3rd, Thursday, um, some people asked to see what's in my pack, so I'm going to give you a little look. Well, here's my backpack, it's a Terra Nova Laser Elite, 20 liters, made in England, weighs less than a pound, most people's packs weigh at least 2 or 3 pounds empty. On the top I got my Tupperware bowl from home. I like to eat my mashed potatoes and my ramen out of a bowl, so that's why I bring it. I got my little AM FM radio that costs $6. I listen to the races with it and check the weather. Sometimes I listen to it while I'm hiking too. This little baggie has my little extra batteries, my little first aid kit with aspirin, ibuprofen, moleskin, my little toothbrush, some quarters in case I find a Coke machine, <laughs> and some some tape to wrap my ankle or whatever. Some extra batteries. A bag of trash. That's my little spoon that I cut down and drilled holes in it. I'm a grand weenie. I got some sunscreen in a little bottle. Usually I also keep uh, snacks in there too, but I'm out. I go to town tomorrow, so I'm all out of snacks. This is my little cup that I cook with. Snow Peak 600 Titanium. It's real light, and it's just perfect for my little stove here. Here's my little stove. This is made by End and Trail Supply. It's a little beer can stove. Holds one ounce of alcohol. That's all you need to boil two cups of water. So that cup is perfect. Also got my little windscreen that I made. It came with it, but I cut it down. And a little lid that I made out of tin foil. Also have a little piece of Reflectix. I use this to insulate my feet in my hammock. And I also use it to sit on when I'm camp, you know, cooking out or whatever. On the outside of my pack, I got a poncho. I used to have a rain jacket, but it was I grew out of it. So I got like a little $6 poncho. And on this side, I keep my uh, tarp for my hammock and a little bottle of alcohol for my stove. I only carry four ounces of alcohol now. I used to carry eight, but I only cook every night, so three or four days worth is fine. Inside, I got a little fleece beanie. This is made by Z-Pax. I really like that. I wear that all the time. I got a synthetic vest here, made by Montbell. Inside of my pack, I got a crash compactor bag that my mom found for me. And these things are really strong. You can pack it full and it keeps everything dry. I just roll up the top and everything stays dry. I got my companion that I got for Christmas. And I do, I cut it up and uh, I mailed the rest forward and just use what I need for that day, you know, or whatever. I usually keep that day in my pocket. Here's my bag of clothes. That's all I got. And some of this I need to get rid of. I got a, another little beanie. Here's my old socks. I got these in Fontana and they wore out. Anyway, I got a real thick pair of uh, thermal top and bottom. These are made by Rocky. You get them at Walmart. I got them in a gas station for $10 each. And I also got a silk pair of thermals that are real small. They're real, they're real light. Here's my food bag. This is made out of Cuban fiber. It's a, uh, I got this from Z-Packs also. And most people put a carabiner on there. I just tied a knot in mine. It keeps it light. It's really light. There's almost no food in there. There's like three more, three more meals since I go to town tomorrow. I'll show you my food bag better when I, when I have it full. All right, this is my uh, underquilt for my hammock. And I'll show you that in one second. All right, this is the underquilt. It's a three-quarter length, made by Wilderness Logics, 20 degrees. And uh, it works really good. All right, here's my sleeping bag. That's how it looks compressed. Well, there it is unraveled. It's made by Western Mountaineering. It's a summer light, rated at 32 degrees, and it works really good. Here's my hammock. I'll show you all this stuff later in another video I'll set up. It's a Grand Trunk Nano 7 and I modified it a little. I, they had a big old rope in here and a big old carabiner. I got a little piece of material there. I got a Dutch beaner on each side attached to a whoopee sling attached to a tree hugger. These are my other socks that I wear. I, these are my sleep socks but I wore them today because my other ones are wore out. But these are alpacable. I got these at uh, the Anderson Jockey Lot for four dollars. My shoes are made by New Balance. They're 101 Trail Runners. 
And they, they've been working real good. I like them because they're so light. They're about 8 ounces each. But they're starting to tear right here a little. So, oh yeah, my my trekking poles are ski poles. And uh, they work real good. I've had the other kind that fold up and all. And I broke two of them and caused me to fall in the past. So these right here are solid. They won't ever break, but they are really heavy. But they were free. So I didn't have to spend $100 on a nice set. Only one kid's made fun of me so far. And he's off the trail, so. Here's my little pocket knife that I carry. This was a dollar at the flea market. Works all right. And that's it. What I'm not carrying, I'm not carrying any uh, Crocs. I'm not carrying a compass or map. I'm not carrying a big kick, a cook pot or any fuel canisters. I'm not carrying uh, extra rope or carabiners. The whole bag was 15 pounds with four days of food at Springer. So... That's what works for me. Everybody's different. Everybody carries different amounts of stuff. And well, Anyway, that's what's in my pack. I'll talk to you later.